This week I've built a couple of marimbas and this one here is finished. It's a box resonated marimba and I've already done a video on that before. This one's finished all but the resonation. As you can see, it doesn't have a box. And the reason for that is it's going to be a pipe resonated marimba. I haven't actually built one of these before, so I'm gonna do that in this video. And how that works is we take a piece of PVC pipe and we put one underneath each bar and it gets capped and it gets tuned to that bar. The pipe resonated marimba has got a better sound than the, uh, the box marimba, but the box re resonated marimba is still very good and it's perfect for somebody to learn on and uh, it's plenty loud enough inside your own home. Just to give you a, an idea about the resonation, so this is obviously resonated. And this hasn't got any yet. So that gives you a little bit of an idea there. The legs, the frame, the bars, everything else, it's all exactly the same as this one and I've already done a, a video on that. So this is just the pipe section. If you do want to make one, then you will still need to get the book. And here's the book I use, it's by John Madden. It's got four different marimbas in there. Um, it's got very good, clear instruction. The marimba itself is just using common materials and common hardware. It's very easy and it's a really fun build. So I recommend the book. If you want to build one, you will need this because I won't be giving any dimension to that. Obviously that wouldn't be fair for me to do that and I wouldn't do that anyway. So there you go. So if you want to make one, get the book. If the pitch is too low, then we need to take a little bit off the end and just take a little bit off at a time and recheck it. If I ever want to take a smidge off the end of something, then uh, I use the chop saw and what I do is I put the blade down and I push into it. So I'm flexing the blade and lift it back up and it just catches it and that will take off about half a mil. But if the pitch is too high, then the way to adjust that is to get the plug and just pull it out slightly and just keep trying it until it's uh, in the right position. This next step is optional. It's a buzzer and it makes the marimba have a more buzzy sound so if that's what you want this is how to do it so we take a, a bottle cap and we need to drill a hole in the center and then we take a piece of blue tack and then we make a ring to go around that hole In the book, it doesn't tell you to do it this way. It tells you to um, drill the hole directly into the pipe. But uh, the music teacher at our local school, he does it this way and uh, it works much better. With these ones, you can take them out, adjust it and then put it back in. So it makes, it makes sense to do it this way. And then all it is, uh, the buzzer, this is a grocery bag. So it's just a you need a little circle of grocery bag and then we push that 
onto the blue tack and the blue tack holds it well and the way it works is the tighter we put the plastic the less buzz we get and uh, if we want more buzz then we will just push on the plastic and adjust it that way so they all need adjusting so that's something to think about if you do this so to mount the buzzer into the pipe we need a 29 millimeter hole all my decent hole saws and uh, force and bits all have uh, a 28 mil in the set but luckily this cheap um, hole saw is 29 mil so that's perfect and that will be a good tight fit which is what it needs So now that the buzzer's in, you've still got the option. You could take it out, you could even just put a piece of um, duct tape on it and then you're back to normal. Or you could use a fresh cap that hasn't been drilled and push that in there as a plug. I can't put a buzzer on the last few pipes and that's because the rails that are going to hold the pipes will be in the way. So I'm going to do the method it said in the book and I'm going to put the uh, holes directly into the pipe. And because they're so short, you'll be able to get to them to adjust them from the inside that way. Because the pipes are smaller in diameter at this end, I have to put a strip either side just to even it out. I need to put a couple of blocks in here for the main rail to sit on and there'll be a couple of blocks at either end. I'll just nail those on and I'll glue them. I've varnished this so I need to just scrape some of the varnish off so the glue will stick. I'm going to put a block either side of these uh, pipe rails just to keep the, the rail centred. I'm not going to push it right up against, I'm going to keep a couple of mil either side so it can go in easily. Ready, set, go.